So how do you work with younger kids in basketball um, and get them to listen to you? And by working with younger kids, I mean a lot of them, right? Because some coaches will neglect the younger kids um, because they're like, uh, kids can't do much, you know, they don't listen, uh, they're wild. But there are ways to manage them to make sure that the session runs smoothly. My name is Nick Aldiro, and I'm a client success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports, but I also have my own basketball training business. Um, and I used to be a phys ed teacher for 15 years, so I had a lot of practice with ages kindergarten to fifth grade. So through trial and error, I've learned, okay, how can I get these kids to listen, um, pay attention, follow directions, and just do what I want them to do in the moment while making everything fun, right? That's what we want. Fun, discipline, structure. Fun, discipline, structure. So obviously, I don't have a lot of time on this video, so um, I'm not going to make it that long, but um, I'm going to give you a couple ways that, that you can do this. And if you're looking for additional help in this category, um, if you look at the, the link in the description, there is a course, a, an ebook slash video course that will give you so much more detail than this. Okay. So first you have to lay out what you, do you expect from the kids? Um, they are, they, you'd have no idea where they're from, what background they have in terms of like, do they even listen to their parents? Do they listen in school? How is their teacher? Is their teacher structure? You don't know. So you have to come up with the structure. So how do you do that? First, before you do anything basketball related, you have to tell them what you expect. You have to let them know how to carry themselves, how to hold the ball, how to pay attention, where to stand, what to do with their hands, what to do with their feet. If you don't, they're going to do what they want. It's simple as that. It, it may, you're like, yeah, you already knew that. But a lot of people just get into the basketball part without laying out. This is what our expectations are. And then following through on those, you can't just let it go because if you let it go, they're not going to learn. You have to really, really focus on those expectations. So whatever standards you have, you have to set them way before you do anything. Um, so that is one thing. And then you have to test to see if they know it. Um, is it difficult? It's very difficult, especially when you don't have the reps and the repetition and you're dealing with kids that you've never worked with before. But that's number one is what's my expectations Assume they know nothing about anything, about how to act. They were raised by wolves, assume, right? And you're going to go over that before anything with a basketball. This is also except, exceptionally challenging because they're little kids, say it's ages six through nine, who have a ball in their hand, which is like the most fun thing ever. And people want to play with the ball, right? So what do they do with the ball? Do you want them to have it? Do you want them to put it over there? Where do they sit? So communicate that effectively before you get into anything basketball related and then test it to see if they are listening. And then you graduate to, hey, basketball activities. Okay, so that's just one thing. If you're looking for the full, I have an ebook, I have a course. Um, yes, I'm, I'm selling you a course. <laughs> you, you don't have to get it, but it has a lot more detail in it than all this. Um, and you can get it in the link in the description. Or if you're just a coach and you're looking to grow your business and you want to talk, you can text me the word GROW to 732-908-2315.